Good morning, y'all. What is today, Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Peter's ninja flipping over to Japan to some like 400 day silent retreat. We just slept under a bush and got rained on. We woke up before the roosters. It is 3.30, Starbucks opens up at 4.30. The bike is drenched, I'm drenched, but we're still alive. So we're gonna kick it here, wait till Starbucks opens, play in there for a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, so Peter just ninja flipped to the bus stop. He's gonna go catch a plane to Japan and go do a 10 day silent retreat there. I am trying to find a place where I can just stay, a secret little spot where I can stay. And I haven't been able to find that for 17 days. I've tried to rely on a few situations they've all fell through and that's okay. But I'm trying to find a really good place for my hammock so I can keep some of my stuff and then go play with the ninjas and then come back and my stuff will be here, you know, and dry. So I'm actually gonna go play with Alistar, go help him with some of his social media and just let him pick my brain and rap with that ninja for a little bit. He's the one that does uh, the Friday's men's group and a whole bunch of yoga stuff. So I gotta go back to Starbucks. I maybe got three hours of sleep, two, three hours of sleep because uh, um, Peter and I got rained on. But um, let me see if I can fix this up y'all and if I find a nice spot, I'll show you in the next video. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm gonna try to take like a 20 minute nap and go before I go to find Alistar. I'm not feeling really good. My throat hurts a little bit, and I think it's being in that Starbucks and not getting a lot of sleep and not having my uh, access to um, you know getting the, the raw foods. Um, and so I bought a cookie, y'all. They had uh, I think four different flavors. They were half off. I've never tried this one. I'm gonna flip it around right now. Boom, so you can see it. It's called Monk Pack, protein cookie, soft bake. Um, it's for all life's adventures. It's good for breakfast, workouts, outdoors, hearty snack, and it's gluten-free. It's got pea protein in it. So it's 18 grams of pea plant protein, no gluten, non-GMO, no sugar alcohols, no soy, no eggs, no dairy, no trans fat, no high fructose corn syrup, no cholesterol, no artificial flavors and no artificial preservatives. This is a clean cookie, y'all. My throat's hurting, so we're gonna give this a try. Ooh, you just open it and it smells like a little bakery. Check it out. Ooh, get a little wet, wet sniff. Let's break it in half. I got three different flavors. In fact, over the next five videos, five days, I'll share one. Look at it, and it's nice. It's kind of like a soft batch. Remember them Chips Ahoy little soft batch? It's got that texture of a soft batch. Like, I think it would break if I just kept it like this. It's got that smooth sheen. Look at that, look at them dirty nails, man. Those dirty nails, little dirt don't hurt, but I definitely need to clean my nails. But when you're working on the farm, y'all, you stay pretty dirty. It's got these little coconut chunks in there. So I do wanna read, it still has a lot, still has a lot of ingredients, even though it has a lot of nothing of those, non, the, those, those bad things that I mentioned. Peanut butter, white chips, sugar, sustainable palm kernel, and palm oil. Ooh. Natural flavor, sunflower, lecithin, ugh, cane sugar, plant protein, brown rice, uh, pea protein, gluten-free, oat flour, coconut flour, vegetable glycerin, macadamia nuts. I'm gonna speed this up if I didn't already. Uh, gluten-free oat flour, vegetable glycerin, macadamia nuts, corn nut flakes, potato starch, gluten-free oat fiber, natural flavors, baking powder, sea salt, Brazil, nuts, axing gum, sunflower. So it's still pretty much a cookie. They just uh, got away with using some of the real, real bad ones with semi-bad ones. But let's check it out. Let's put it right in half. Cause I'm gonna eat this whole thing even though I don't have anything to drink. Look. Oh yeah, peekaboo. Look at the inside. Look at the inside. Smells delicious, y'all. Let's give it a test. Oh, it's gonna break. Look at that, see? It's good, it's still really dry. It doesn't look dry and it seems moist on the outside, but it's got like a, a chalky taste to it. 
It's very good though, especially for the point price or the price point compared to the other, you know, Oreos, you know, all that other stuff. Really, really good. I wish I had something. I wish I had coconut water to rinse this down, y'all. Um, that was a big size macadamia nut. Look at that macadamia nuts, y'all. Macadamia nuts aren't cheap. They didn't skip on the macadamia nuts, so. When I'm optimal, y'all, I don't eat this kind of stuff. If you eat this stuff, give these give these a try, y'all. Give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna go serve and go give my talents to a rock and rad star. And hopefully I feel better. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna take a nap right now. These little things keep on falling on my head. Look at these, they're like mini coconuts. And listen, you hear that? Those hurt. All right, y'all. I love you. Boom. <laughs> Want to make out? Hmm? Want to cuddle? Want to try it out? Want to try it out? Yeah, you want to spank me? Come on, give me a little, give me a little spanking, will you? Try it out. Try it out. Pinch me. Mm. Give me a big wet kiss. Come on. Try it out. Try it out. What what? Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm out here playing with Alistar. We're shooting some rad videos and I'm just doing a walkthrough right now because he's going to do a video and I'm just testing the lighting and the lighting right here, right there, I don't think can get any better. So you all stay tuned. I'm going to share his videos. You all friend follow him. Alistar, he's a, uh, a rad, rad little yogi and a rad human being. So look more, uh, look out for uh, more of him because I'm going to share a lot of his videos. Love you all. Keep it raw. Stay rad. What, what? All right, y'all, so I got Grant super, super playing. All right, y'all, so I got Alistar super, super playing and having fun. Look at, he's just playing with the selfie stick. We just shot a whole bunch of videos and he's really enthusiastic and he's really growing, you know, every minute as we're doing this, he's, he's letting his, his playfulness out, you know, and he's letting, you know, him just speak his truth, you know? He's just being ridiculously authentic and he's having fun. And this is a big reason why I came here is to, is to just let people have fun and, and, and so they can embrace uh, their funny, they can embrace their humor, they can embrace their, uh, their knowledge, they can embrace their gifts and to share it with the world. And that's what just by grabbing a camera and just playing. And I love just watching him, look at it, it's so cute. What, what? Aloha everyone. Uh, my name is Alistair Sweeney. I'm a New Zealand Army veteran uh, and also a yoga teacher. I specialize in teaching yoga to veterans but also everyone to assist in the management of trauma, anxiety, depression and stress and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the effect that trauma has on the body-mind. So, and I'll use the example of a motor vehicle accident. So, if we get into a motor vehicle accident, then it's a traumatic event, and it has impact on our body as well as our mind. And people can notice that straight away, that if you've ever been in a motor vehicle accident, and you get into a vehicle, say, immediately following or soon after the event, then it affects you, and you notice that you're a little bit uneasy behind the wheel. As well as that, you may even start to have some memories, some even uh, nightmares or even flashbacks about this event. But they start to slowly, slowly um, decrease over time. And the reason for that is that your body is naturally processing this trauma, these subtle vibrations that has been created in the body-mind as a result of this traumatic event. So, but after that, well, what, what happens is that if your body is not actually at the time able to cope and start to process this trauma, then your body mind wraps up all of these subtle vibrations, all of this trauma and packs it in a bunch and then puts it in a box, closes the lid and stuffs it down deep inside of you. And so you can perhaps notice yourself or notice other people who react often to just easy or general situ situations day to day. 
And a lot of that is coming from what's inside of them. Potentially their trauma that hasn't been, uh, hasn't been allowed to be expressed and hasn't been allowed to, or the body hasn't had the opportunity to fully um, just process this out. So that's essentially the um, one, some of the impacts that trauma can have on the body mind, but also it's a continuum. So throughout our lives, we have, uh, we go from one end of the continuum all the way to the other in association with our trauma. And these subtle vibrations that if they're not acknowledged and we don't allow the time to actually feel them and feel our emotions and allow them to be processed, then these subtle vibrations of our trauma are always going to be inside of us and they're always going to be potentially controlling how we act day to day. And that's essentially uh, the impact that trauma can have on the body-mind. If you find that your trauma is controlling your day-to-day -day life, uh, my first recommendation is to see a mental health professional because that's such a large part of it is the mind and what your mind's telling you about the event and but also it needs to be worked out somatically, processed through the body. These subtle vibrations that are picked up in the traumatic event where your body was in a certain situation, your body was involved in the traumatic event, it needs to be processed out. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Aloha. Oatmeal raisin spice. Not as uh, smooth and shiny as the other one. And I'm a huge oatmeal raisin cookie fan. My grandmother used to make oatmeal raisin cookies. So let's break this in half. Looks pretty bland. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It's really good, y'all. I give this one a B minus. Cause I'm riding my bike, yeah, riding my bike, yeah, riding my bike, oh yeah. I'm riding my bike, yeah, riding my bike, yeah, riding my bike, go oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> I forgot to do the review on this one y'all let's see what this is it was really really good i don't even know what flavor it was it was protein cookie what what self-baked peanut butter chocolate chip the best one was the first one it was delicious y'all it's the first time i've set up my bed or my my tent and as you can hear it's already raining i'm not even supposed to be on this land but at this point y'all i have to keep dry and so i had to set up my tent y'all Ah, keep going, keep growing. I'm not giving up. I love you. Good night.